One of the most invasive, non-invasive treatments, if that makes sense, for cervical herniated disc is an epidural steroid injection. It's sort of in between, because it's not surgery, but it is an injection. I had a chance to talk to Lyle Possession, who took us through sort of a walkthrough of what it's like to get an epidural steroid injection. We have a patient with a cervical herniated disc. We have pain in the neck, and let's assume it's the, you know, the, the acute herniated disc, pain in the neck, radiating okay. down the arm, numbness, tingling, weakness. Okay. What's your approach to that patient when you first see that patient? So I always tell my patients it's not a cure. Uh, this is a steroid injection. It's, it's, uh, the idea is that it helps with inflammation. So less inflammation, less irritation, less pain, hopefully. It's not going to change your anatomy. It's not going to put the disc back into place. Unfortunately, nothing can you know, really do that. Uh, the body may heal over time, but once a disc is herniated, it's generally herniated. People ask, how well will this work for me? You don't really know how much, how well it'll work until you try it, basically. Um, but some people can get significant relief. I mean, uh, you know, f after one injection, you may have a few months relief, and other end of the spectrum may not help at all. Right. And basically, if it does help, the reason and and the pain does return, the reason that the pain returns is because that inflammation starts to build up again. First to see them in the office uh, after they've understood the risks, the benefits and alternatives and decided they want to go ahead and do the procedure. Basically they, they come in here, uh, we take their vital signs, we have them lay down on their stomach, we numb the skin with lidocaine which is a numbing medication, uh, then we use this x-ray machine to guide the needle to the proper place. Uh, once there we put in the contrast which is a dye that I can see on the screen to make sure the medicine is going into the right place and then we put the medicine in. Um, it's not a switch, it usually just shuts, it doesn't shut the pain off immediately. Uh, it usually takes a few days to a week or so for the steroid to take full effect. That's why our patients come back after two weeks to check and see how they're doing at that time. Uh, the procedure itself will take about 15-20 minutes or so. Uh, but the whole process of coming in, filling out the paperwork, changing your clothes, be here about an hour, hour and a half. Um, and then after the procedure, we uh, take the patient back to the room. They can change. They usually have a driver. They should have a driver with them. Um, and then we have them wait in the waiting room another 10 minutes, make sure that they feel okay. And then they go home the rest of the day and, you know, don't do anything too strenuous. Exactly where? Can you point your finger where you would, where you put the injection? Um, C7, T1. Um, and I usually pick that place, uh, that space, because in the neck that's the, that's the biggest uh, part of the epidural space. Safest place to, to place the medication. And although if you have a herniation that's higher up, um, the medication is a liquid, so we put in a certain volume. So we're really kind of we're really blanketing the area, mm -hmm. so we don't have to you know be at that specific level because the medicine will uh, will flow up and down. And does the injection hurt? Um, I mean, uh, I do all my procedures here without any conscious sedation. Um, generally, uh, you know, the worst part of it is the uh, you know the little pinch for the numbing medicine. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, it's like when you go to the dentist, you get that Novocaine-like pinch, and then you get that feeling of, uh, of numbness, and then from then on, it should be, it's pretty well tolerated. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the worst part is usually just the uh, not know, you know, the anticipation, not knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. So we do our best to, you know, prepare our patients. Uh, I, t I talk to them during the procedure, make sure they understand what we're doing, what to expect. And at any time, if anyone feels uncomfortable, we just stop and, um, you know, we don't have to proceed. No one's forcing anyone to do. Is the procedure safe? Yeah, I would say in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I mean, nothing is without risk. Uh, major complications, again, are just like most other procedures, are infection, uh, uncontrolled bleeding, and um, nerve injury. But uh, relatively, those risks are relatively low, less than 1%. So the bottom line on epidural steroid injection, Wow, this one is as far as you can go without having surgery. As you saw from the video, there's a needle going in, there's anesthetic, there's x-ray, but it really does put the medicine right where you need it. If you don't want to have surgery, if you want to avoid surgery, it's an option you have to consider.